Hi everyone, my name is Chris Harris and I'm from AlloyTutors.com and in this video we're going to look at how you can make an azo dye. Now azo dyes are a very important chemical um, they're used obviously in clothing uh, and fabrics and they've made, they've revolutionised the, uh, the way in which um, fashion is actually used. There's a lot of chemistry in fashion. Um, now what we have is an azo group and the azo group is uh, a two nitrogens with a double bond in between them and you'll see where the azo group appears in this um, in these reactions that I'm going to show you. Now it is important that if this is on your syllabus and um, that you need to know the individual steps, all the reactions involved in this and it is there is a few steps involved in this so you do have to try and remember them um, but I'm going to try and explain certain processes uh, and go through these steps and uh, hopefully it should help you to remember them a little bit easier. So, most azo dyes actually have an um, aromatic aspect of it. So, for example, you'll have your azo group, which is in the middle, with your aromatic groups either side. Um, now, an azo dyes are made by what we call a coupling reaction, which we'll come on to in a minute. Uh, and that's basically the joining of two molecules together. But what we have to do is prepare one half of the dye first and then join it with another molecule. And so that's why we split it up into two steps. So the first step is actually making something called a diazonium salt. And a diazonium salt, basically the diazonium ion has this bit here. So it's an N2 plus ion, um, which would add onto the end of your aromatic group. So we make this um, in kind of two stages. Um, although all of these reactions are done in situ, which means they're done in the same uh, reaction vessel. So the first thing we need to do to make our diazonium salt is we take sodium nitrate, uh, which is this molecule here, and react it with hydrochloric acid. And we make this chemical, which is called nitrous acid. The nitrous acid is really, really unstable. Um, and so therefore, this is the reason why we have to do it in a situ process. Uh, and we actually make sodium chloride as well. So we'll have this in a, uh, in a reaction vessel. And then at the same time, um, this, as soon as this is made, this can react with uh, phenyl amine, which is this molecule here, um, and it can actually, and with some uh, hydrochloric acid, which is from the, re um, the previous reaction. So all this happens in one beaker in situ. Uh, we actually make this, which is our diazonium salt. Now this is called benzene. Um, this is called benzene uh, diazonium chloride, uh, which is your salt here. Now. This whole reaction has got to be done in um, under 10 degrees Celsius. And the reason why is because this molecule, even though it's reasonably stable because it's, you've got a benzene ring and the electrons are actually incorporated within the benzene ring, this can actually decompose with it being a salt uh, and you can actually form phenol instead, which is not what you want. So um, you've just got to make sure that this has got to be lower than 10 degrees. So ideally, obviously, you put it in an ice bath or something and that should, that should help it to... Uh, to react appropriately. So once you've got your diazonium salt, you've actually made half of your um, dye. And the second step is the coupling step. So this is where we actually take two parts, uh, two parts of this molecule, and we're actually going to join these molecules together to form your azo dye. Um, but the first thing we need to do is we need to get our uh, phenol. Um, so phenol, if you can remember, is the uh, benzene with an OH group on it. Uh, and what we have to do is um, actually react it with um, sodium hydroxide to make sodium phenoxide first, which is a, a soluble uh, salt. Um, and then if we take um, this stage here, your sodium phenoxide, and then you react that with um, your um, diazonium salt that you made in the first step, then what you make is your azo dye. Um, and again, all of this is sat in the ice bath. Um, and the reasons uh, are to, again, to stop this salt from decomposing uh, and forming a phenol instead. Um, now, what's actually happening here in terms of a mechanism is actually um, the um, diazonium salt, sorry, is, um, well, the phenol is the coupling agent. That's the one that's actually going to join on there. Um, and it makes the azo dye, um, which is this molecule over here. And you make sodium chloride and water as well. Um, but you do need to know um, that the coupling agent is your, uh, is your actual phenol, uh, and effectively um, this is acting as an electrophile. Um, but um, that's it. Um, make sure you know what the azo group is. Um, there is a lot of steps, and you do need to know um, the different stages, and I hope it's explained it a little bit clearer as to why we do these individual steps first. Um, but that's it. Bye.